Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to learn how to take apart and clean the dipping chalk. All right, step number one, we're going to unplug. Okay. Step two, it depends on which store you're at with the dipping chocolate. For this particular one, the first thing we're going to do is take off this top piece. Then we're going to take off the back by carefully pinching it, and it comes apart. Okay. Step three, depends how hot this is. You may have to wait a little while. You may have to get a rag to help you lift it out. I'm going to get a rag to help me lift this out. So let me just get a couple of paper towels. Okay, it's a little bit warm, but I can do this quick. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this out. Goodness, it hasn't been taken out in a while. It's almost stuck to the bottom, which isn't good. out, you can see we've got a big mess. Step three, the bottom plate comes out like so. So here we have all of the pieces. If you come over here, you can take a look. We have our bottom piece, top pieces, this, and this. Okay, so now that we have all of our pieces, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three pieces here, I'm going to take them to the back sink, and I'm going to wash them. You're not going to need to see me do that. So I'm gonna get those clean. Then I'm gonna let this cool a little bit. Once it's cooled off, I'm gonna get a rag and carefully wipe in there and clean it out the best that I can. And third, the most important thing is I'm gonna FIFO the dipping chocolate. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So in order to do that, the first thing I need to do is get a clean one of these. Let me go ahead and get one of those. Now I have a nice clean dipping chocolate container. Now, if I were doing this and this dipping chocolate right here was halfway empty or needed to be refilled, I would first put the new stuff and then pour the old stuff on top. In this instance, I'm doing this before we open, so it was refilled last night, so all I'm gonna do is wipe out the container. In order to do this, I'm going to carefully take the old container and dump it. Once I've done that, I'm going to take all of my containers in the back to clean them. And this is an important thing. When cleaning them, use hot water. As hot as you can get it, use the sprayer, and that will be like magic to get the chocolate off, and then you'll have to scrub a little bit. Don't use cold water. It's not going to work real good. As hot of the water as you can get out of that sprayer. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to wash the supplies. In the sink here, I put all the different things that we have. Okay. Biggest thing, you can see there's a lot of chocolate on this stuff. I have the water as hot as I can get it. it takes a little time, but you can see the hot gets to come off pretty good. You can see in this instance that's a lot of wasted chocolate because somebody is overfilling it. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to wash this real good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all I did so far, you saw how dirty these were before. I haven't even washed them yet. All I have done was rinse them with hot water. This was caked on. Rinsing with super hot water. Just be careful with your hands. It makes a big difference. Now I'm gonna wash these and then we'll go back to doing the other, all right? Okay, now that I've got all those parts washed and ready to go, next I need to clean it. It's cooler by now. Sometimes if it, while it's warm, if you can stand it without hurting yourself or burning yourself, you can wipe some things down because the warm chocolate is easier to wipe than the frozen up chocolate. So now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to wipe the inside, I'm going to wipe the outside real good. You can see there's a lot to wipe here. I've got to clean my counter real good. One of the tips for the counter, if you go to wipe and you can't get it, you can use a scraper to get out some of the big stuff. Okay, like so. This of course would go into a trash can, not into the sink. So I'm going to clean this up and then I'll get back to you to put it back together. One of the big things to remember as you're cleaning this, it should go without saying, but I want to make sure it's on video. So if anybody does something really stupid, do not put this in water. Okay, this is an electrical device. If you submerge it in water like you do the other parts of the dishes, it would break it. So I'm going to wash these in. Now when I get these little nooks and crannies, sometimes I can carefully use a knife 
to slide it in those bottom pieces. Again, carefully being the optimal mortar. I don't want to push real hard to break the knife or ruin the other, but sometimes you got to get some of that caked up stuff off because people don't do their jobs correctly. Okay? I'm going to keep cleaning, and then when it's really clean, I'll get back. All right, one of the other things you want to remember while cleaning it is the knob on the back. This one has the knob still there. Be very careful around this area as to not break it. Do not get your rag so wet that it soaks it because remember, there's electronic parts in there. So do the best that you can. Try to get in there and clean it out. But caution is a big part of it. Additionally, when cleaning it, the cord, that's part of the fixture. So make sure you carefully wipe down the cord every time you clean it. See, it gets dirty because of the cord being black. Sometimes it's hard to tell. So give it a wipe down. All right, let me keep this up. All right, I'm about done cleaning the device. But before I can put it all back together, I've got to clean the area of which I'm working with. So now my next step is to go ahead and clean this counter all the way back, all the way forward against the wall. I brought myself a trash can. Don't put it onto the floor right into the can, it's so easy, okay? As I was cleaning it, it kept getting a little dirty from the counter underneath, I'm almost done with it. This will speed it up. All right, now, one of the things I will say as I'm doing this, I've been working on cleaning this now for almost 30 minutes. Why is it taking me 30 minutes? Because unfortunately, not everyone does their job. What I'm doing here should be done at least once a week. If you're dipping waffles and you make a big mess, it's your responsibility to clean it. Don't leave it for somebody else. Don't tell yourself, oh, that's somebody else's job. I don't have to do it. Make it your job. The more you clean it, the quicker it'll be. So let me finish this counter, and then we'll get that put back together. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that it's as clean as I can get it for the time being, it's never going to be absolutely perfect, but it's got to be really good, okay? I'm going to put it back together. So First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the bottom. Okay, the beveled edges, they're facing up. Okay? So I'm just going to put it in from the back. Those beveled edges, the dots facing up, the dots the other way facing down. Slide that right in. Okay? Once that's in, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my clean one. I'm going to insert that right inside. Okay. Then it doesn't matter which order, depends on what we do. I'm going to put this back piece on carefully. And then the final piece with the two edges in the back. For this particular model, you can see the edges are going to go on the back end. So then I'm going to maneuver it to make sure it's in the center of this the best that I can. Now a lot of the times when people dip, they don't do it right. That's how we get all that junk in the bottom. So I want to secure it. If I have it too much slid to one side, if you can bring the camera over here, you can see how we have this here. That's a no-go. We want to slide this so it secures it in there best so that when we go ahead and dip, we're not getting all that down in, okay? Close it, and then of course we're going to plug it in. We're going to check the temperature in the back. We want it not all the way high in this instance, this line pointing straight up, and then we're going to push it towards the back, okay? And as you can see, very clean. Here at point is the other one, not so much. This one actually is turned a little too high. All right, so please, again, this is on your test. You have to demonstrate this skill in order to become a level three. It's not super hard, but practice it, and then when you're making your video or you're having myself or maybe a tailor or a listener or one of the other high-end shift leaders marking you off, that's what they're gonna be looking for, taking it all apart, FIFOing it, cleaning it, and all that good stuff. This is the one that I clean. It should be clean, okay? I probably have to finish this one up. Rinsing it down, we have some splash, and then putting everything where it goes. 
All right, thank you for watching. Make sure you do it right.